Hello, my name is Jean-Philippe Riquiel. I was born in Paris or near Paris in 1961. I'm blind, as you can see. <clears throat> I'm a keyboard player and I'm uh, crazy about African music. So Ibu took me to England to a, a WOMAD festival where I uh, was playing with an incredible Kora player who is now dead, unfortunately, but his name was Soli Bakuyate and he was incredible and at that time I didn't know that Ibu was such a talented musician then uh, a few years later he contacted me to play in a, an album by a Senegalese singer called Alun Binder and that's uh, I discovered him there but I was not aware of his whole potential and uh, very recently he contacted me to play in one of his songs and um, I said yeah well can I listen and so he sent me the song and I said wow what is this it's incredible mm -hmm. and so as we were not too near from each other uh, I had to do it over the net so I I was sitting here in this very studio and lay down our tracks and then I sent him over the net and apparently he was happy <laughs> And so that's it, that's how it happened. Well, uh, it's obvious that Ibu has a lot of cultures inside him. He has the Senegalese culture, but he also has the Western culture, as you can tell by his uh, numerous chord changes and harmonies, and he, he's mastering that perfectly. And, and so, you know, it's, it's the kind of music I love because it's the music of the future. Uh, now, you know, uh, uh, the African culture and the Western culture, uh, culture has mixed together in a way that it really uh, produced a new kind of music. Of course, before that, there was jazz because jazz is already a mixture between the African culture and the Western culture. But now it's deeper and it's different because uh, you can hear the, the African roots <coughs> uh, in a different way and you can feel them more uh, than in jazz songs, even jazz songs that uh, uh, relate to Africa, you know, like you, you take John Coltrane songs uh, and they are great and I have an immense admiration for John Coltrane, but it's different uh, because uh, John Coltrane had uh, he had uh, um, when when he did so these songs, it, it was very uh, it was on one one chord and one tonality, mm -hmm. and he was improvising like the genius he was but in this tonality and it was not like giant steps or other songs where he was changing chords and tonality all the time but with a bebop you know with a jazz rhythm and now uh, african musicians like ibu found a way to uh, to uh, have complex african rhythms like sabar and, and mixed with all these chord changes and I think it's very very interesting it's like a um, different state of mind um, all in one piece and I, I like this idea of having different different states of mind in one piece like that and going from one to another very quickly and it sounds like life you know sometimes you're up sometimes you're down Sometimes you're in the middle, <laughs> and uh, and it, it's uh, it's something you can't express with words. Okay, and final question: uh, Would you like to work on any more projects with the in the future? Oh sure, sure. Uh, I'm a busy man, but if he needs me, and and if it's it, it's according to my schedule, I'd be very happy to co collaborate some more. Yeah, he's a great musician. I just would like to say I'm <laughs> proud, uh, so happy to be here uh, with Jean-Philippe. Uh, 
he's for me he's the the greatest musician one of the best keyboard player in the world and i mean it <laughs> i do mean it and uh since i was a teenager he's always influenced me uh when i started uh i, I learned a lot from from his uh, from from his stuff and it's i think a dream coming through just to to be able to to share this rock with him and he's the man and he was the only one that could do it i think uh i, I mean it merci beaucoup jean philippe merci it's a pleasure jerry jeff <laughs> jerry jeff <laughs> <laughs>